Hi, this is Dr. Don. I've had some questions about the instructions in M2A1 Part 4 on setting up the pivot table. So I'm just going to walk everyone through them step by step. First thing we want to do when you open up your, your file is to go to the Dealer Satisfaction tab. I'm going to click that until it's selected. And then I want to put my cursor in cell B3. And you can look up here in the, the box up there the name box, and that'll tell you the name of that cell, which is B3. It's useful. And the reason I'm putting you inside this data range, Excel will look uh, to the left and to the right for columns and up and down for adjacent rows and select all the things that are adjacent. Now, I might point out to you, because this title up here, Dealer Satisfaction Grades, doesn't extend through B and C, once I select the pivot table, this row one is going to get at a uh, disappear from sites. Remember that you need to just get it to scroll back in. So I'm going to go to insert pivot table and it's got the range there A2 to 1506. You can see the dancing ants. We want to go to an existing worksheet this time. I'm going to click in the location box and go up here to E4. E2, remember the first row scrolled out of view, so E2 two, three, four. And I can check there that I've got E4 in my location box and click OK. And over here on the right side of your screen, you'll get the pivot table fields it will use to create the pivot table. The next instruction says that let's drag the year and you want to highlight it and then left click, hold down the left mouse button and drag it down to rows. I'm going to go up here and highlight grade left click, hold down that button, drag it to columns. I'm going to go back to grade again, highlight it, left click, drag it into the values area, and then I'm going to go highlight region, left click, drag it into the filters. And we've got our basic pivot table set up. And I'm going to scroll up again to make sure that the row one is showing there. Now, when you create a pivot table, Excel will default to use the sums, and we want count. So I'm going to click there in that title, which is E4, and then right click, and I want to summarize values, not sum, but by count. So that reformats the data to show the counts. Okay, now I want to copy this pivot table a number of times, and I'm going to go up here and go to cell D1 and drag down to select everything through L11. And that makes sure when I start copying, I've got some space above and to the left, and you'll see why that's useful. So I've got it selected, then I right-click, copy, and then I want to go down to cell D14. Here's D, 12, 13, 14, and look across. Yes, I've got D14, and then right-click, and then paste and that gives me a copy of the pivot table with some space again between to help things out. Now I want to change this count of grade. I want to click on that cell which is E17 and then right click and I want to show values as percent of row total and it will reformat and now I've got the basic pair of uh, pivot tables for all the fast regions. Now we're going to go back here to the cell D1 again, and I'm going to drag down to select everything through L24, D1 through L24, and now I'm going to right click and copy it, and I will go here to cell M1, right click, and then paste, and that gives me a copy of the two tables. Now I've set it up and it works out that you can just go to the next cell over here. This one would be V1. Right click, paste, and I get two more. And I'm going to just keep scrolling over here. AE1. Right click. I know you can't see it, but it'll still work. Paste. And then I'm going to go to AN1. Right click, paste. And I think, is that the last one? No, I need to go to AW1. One more. Scroll over here. There's AW. Right click, paste. 
Now I've got all those pairs of pivot tables and I can set about uh, going to make them for each of the regions. And I'm going to select here in the first one. I'm going to go to Americas, change that to Americas. I'm going to go down here to the second part of the table, change that to Americas. And then we go over here and do that for each of the other regions. Click there. This time I'll go to Asia and then click and go to Asia and so on. So you've got all those pairs set up. Now this is uh, one way of doing this. You can of course uh, create each of these pivot tables uh, using the pivot table fields or you can use uh, slicers to, to do the same sort of thing. But I wanted you to see how you can create basic pivot tables using just the copy and paste. So I hope this helps.